Okay, so that's the ding, that's the bell that uh, gets me going. So, hi everyone, this is the first uh, Google Hangout that I've ever done. Uh, I've done a lot of webinars before and a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of conference calls and all the rest of it and, you know, my first share of videos for other things, but never a, never a Google Hangout. So this is the first time for me. And of course, a Google ha the word Hangout for someone of my age, actually, when we were younger, it meant something completely different. But um, anyway, uh, the Google Hangout is what it is, and I'm very, very pleased to be part of it and to be doing it. And uh, these Hangouts are just really me, you know, talking to the camera like this and giving myself a chance to say hi and um, speak to you and uh, maybe build up some sort of uh, a relationship with you guys. I mean, the purpose of this is because of the thriller novels that I write, really, because I like to talk about the process of writing as much as anything else. I like to talk about what's current. I like to talk about why some, um, you know, crime thriller writers are successful, why writers in general are, are successful. But this is the first one. So since it is the first one, I thought perhaps I should introduce myself. My name, of course, is Stephen Davidson. Hello. And um, I do a few things in my life. One of them is you know, I sit and type. I don't uh, uh, and write novels. You know, I don't play golf or do any of that stuff. So, sort of writing novels, detective novels, crime novels, thrillers, that sort of thing, is what gives, which is my hobby, I suppose, which is the thing that really, you know, settles my mind down. And I used to write as a kid and then gave it up. You know, like many of you who may or may not listen to this writing it when you were younger, which is what I did for a while, I, I, life got in the way and I gave it up. Um, and then went back to it oh, some years ago now. And what happened to me was I wrote, I decided to, to get back into it and write a, a thriller, which was, and back then I had a, an agent, a, a young agent who was, you know, enthusiastic and trying to do his best. And we were trying to push this thing you know into publishers and uh, what have you wasn't working they weren't interested in it this was the time of big brother and reality tv so pretty much you know if you um you know if they if 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 they, if they were going to take a punt on someone they didn't know well they had to know you basically they had to know you you had to have done something nothing significant you know you could you it could you had to appear on Big Brother or have gotten your 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 boobs out for some magazine, then you may have had a chance, but but of course <clears throat> I was an unknown and um they weren't interested. So Google um Google got, got Google on the brain. Um Kindle was just starting then. And we took a punt and decided to put it put the first one up on, on Kindle. And um it sold really well. It sold loads of copies and then the su subsequent um Book, which it was called Dead Innocent. The first one was called Kill and Cure. The second one was called Dead, uh, and they both did well. And between them, they've sold over uh, two hundred thousand copies, which I'm very pleased with. It's a lot more than some, a lot fewer than others. Even self-published people. Um, so there's a lot to do. The third one is just hit Kindle um, two days ago, actually, and it's called The Hunted Kind. So. If you come across this video and you'd like to check that out, I would be very grateful for uh, your interest, basically. Have a look, see what you think. And please give me a review, that's very important. Got to have, got to have reviews. All right, so um, I've told you a little bit about uh, who I am and what um, I'm, I do with my spare time. The other part of my life is around um, business training, you know, management seminars. So. I do, I suppose, if I'm not writing, as it were, I'm talking, uh, as I am doing now, and that's uh, how I, you know, earn my living. But one of the things that I wanted to do, just this first one, and just very quickly, because I'm very conscious that I don't want to make these hangouts too long. I, I want them to almost be like, um, you know, little bite-sized pieces that you can digest uh, uh, without too much indigestion, you see? Indigestion, don't want indigestion. So I don't want to sort of waffle on. Um, but the thing that I really wanted to uh, talk about here in terms of the first one is to, because I get so many questions about uh, writing novels. Uh, how do you do it? How do you start? I'd love to do that. I've got, always got, you know, I've got an idea for this book. I, I, I think it'd be really great. Whether it be, by the way, fiction or non-fiction, doesn't matter. 
people always tell me because I'm because I do lots of seminars and lots of business training. People tell me these things. I want to I want to write a book. How do you start it? Um, you know, what's the thing? How do you get going at it? How do I? Oh, there's all this frustration about it. And so the the answer to that is that if you are interested in writing anything, whether it be a novel or anything else, come to that. You've got to have persistence. And there is this uh, truth, I think, that when you come to do anything worthwhile, it's always difficult. You know, the proverbial blank uh, sheet of paper, or in this case, uh, in, in you know computers, the blank screen, and you are sort of, you've got to think, oh my lord, I've got to fill this with words. You know, it just sounds daunting. But once you get over the initial resistance of it, and you start to get some momentum, it becomes much easier. I would say what works for me as a novel writer is you need, uh, I need, not what well, you don't need anything. You, you need whatever you need. Don't overcomplicate it. Uh, and we'll, we will discuss this in future Hangouts. But just to say that I need the opening scene. I need something to get me in. And sometimes I'll have the end, you know, some vague um, is, go is going to be. Sometimes I have that. But other times I don't, it's just, uh, and by the way, I've published three. I mean, I've, I've written loads of stuff that I've, I've thrown away, right? I mean, it's not just, it's not just the, the three. Um, but sometimes I'll get the, uh, the end, uh, a vague notion of it. But I'll always have the beginning. And between that, I don't know anything. So I don't plan, I don't plot, um, you know, or anything like that. It's just the way that I work. Um, find out the way that you work. If you are more analytical, this is business training now. If you're, if you look at the disc profile, which is D I S C, you can you can Google that um, and you can find out all about it. And you go through the questions that they ask you on the disc profile. You come to some sort of conclusion about how you operate. You know that you like to do. If you are more, uh, so the D I S C. If you're more the C end then you might be more um, likely to plot and to plan and to you know, make sure you know where you're going. If you're up the other end, which is where I am, which is the DI end, D is for dominant, by the way, I is for expressive, S is for, um, I call S like steady, C is for um, detail. C doesn't stand for detail. C, what is the word? What is the official one of C? I think it's compliance, something like that. But C people are very interested in in the detail on this disc profile. I'm up the other end, as I say. So it works for me to be free, to have free form. That's just the way my my brain works. Okay, so that's the way to do it. Don't if you've got if you've got a mind to do it, go for it because there's nothing more rewarding than seeing your stuff uh, up on Kindle. Or anywhere else come to that and have you be discovered by people that you would never have been able to reach otherwise that's the exciting thing about the whole Kindle experience uh, and beyond so um, all right I'll leave it there uh, first hangout really good I quite like talking to the camera I thought I'd hate it but I quite like because you think I'm talking to no one there's no one there you know especially the first one no one's around no one cares no one's gonna see it but who knows um, and uh, you know, if you uh, check back, we can um, we can have some deep and meaningfuls together over the over the coming months. So I'll leave it there, and I look forward to the next one. I don't know what the topic will be. I'll just um, pick something out, and we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Cheers. Thanks for watching this, and I shall see you again. Bye bye.